the first to be discovered and the largest satellite of Saturn. Beyond Earth, it is the only celestial body known by humans that has a complete hydrosphere. It is also the only satellite known to have a normal atmosphere and an object with a high probability of having living beings beyond Earth. Hello everyone, everything we have talked about so far refers to the satellite Titan, one of the most interesting bodies in the solar system. Welcome to our channel. Today I would like to introduce the satellite Titan. And how was its trajectory? So it's time to start our video. A satellite that was discovered in 1655 by the Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens while observing Saturn. He noticed a large moon orbiting Saturn. Curiously, he almost got the orbital period of this object right, which is about 16 days, but he had difficulty naming this celestial object. Titan was originally called only Saturn's moon, but when other moons were discovered it was called Huygens' moon or Saturn 6. The name Titan was given in 1847. It is a very large satellite, larger than Mercury. But because it is too close to Saturn it makes it difficult to study it by means of old telescopes. Despite this, scientists from the beginning had noticed that this satellite was monochromatic while other satellites like the Moon had some kind of structure. Titan seemed to be monochrome and yellowish. In 1907 scientists speculated that Titan, Saturn's largest moon, had a thick atmosphere that darkened its surface. 37 years later, in 1944, this hypothesis was confirmed. Spectroscopic observations revealed that Titan really has an atmosphere containing large amounts of methane. In the next 35 years, few people were interested in Titan, and there were almost no more researches at that time. The larger bodies of the solar system also stopped being studied, but the methods of observation of distant stars and galaxies developed remarkably. Researching a satellite is already a difficult task, now imagine then a satellite in this situation. Even the existence of an atmosphere was not enough to draw attention. Only now we have discovered that this satellite is a unique object in the solar system. Moreover, they did not even imagine that Titan could become a new cradle of humanity. The thought at the time was that sunlight is essential for life and not much sunlight reaches Titan. Besides. The sound was far away and the sunlight was blocked by the atmosphere. It was only in the 1970s when the black fumaroles were known that they discovered that life can exist without light. It was also at this moment that the first photos of Titan were taken. Photo Session in a Distant World The first artificial satellite that managed to photograph Titan successfully was Pioneer 11 in 1979. However, the image quality at that time was not very good, and it was only possible to verify that Titan had an atmosphere with an orange hue and was cold. In fact, there were information that did not even need the images to know. But the following year we had the happiness of Voyager 1 and 2 to reach Titan successfully. With the most modern equipment from Voyager, it was possible to carry out a more detailed study of Titan. Then at that time Titan, which was considered a dull satellite, became a little more interesting. In particular, it was discovered not only that Titan has an atmosphere, but that its atmosphere had a mass higher than Earth's. This fact contradicted several thoughts of the time that relatively small bodies did not have enough gravity to maintain an atmosphere and still adequate. It was also possible to discover the atmospheric composition of Titan. Its atmosphere is composed of 98% nitrogen, 1.5% methane, and half a percent of various other gases. This atmosphere has about 400 kilometers of thickness, and the pressure on the surface of Titan is 1.5 times greater than that of the surface of the Earth. Due to these characteristics, unfortunately, it was found that it would be impossible to study the surface of Titan because Titan's atmosphere is always covered by an orange haze of clouds of methane and organic compounds. However, observations of Titans continued for several years, including with the use of the famous Hubble Space Telescope, but only simple information from the surface could be obtained, such as absence of polar caps. Until the mid-2000s scientists had many theories about what was hidden under the dense clouds of Saturn's moon Titan. 
most speculated that the surface contained an ocean of liquid hydrocarbon or something similar. It was in 2004 when the famous Cassini-Huygens passed by Titan that finally a deeper exploration of this mysterious world became possible. The surface of Titan began to be researched by radar equipment and was successfully photographed for the first time by Huygens probe which was launched on Titan. What was found there confirmed the most unlikely predictions of scientists. Like Earth, it has a true hydrosphere. But instead of water it had liquid hydrocarbons like methane and ethane. Then at least three seas or more precisely very large lakes called Kraken Mare were found. These seas are fed by several rivers that receive rainwater. It may be that Titan's oceans contain glaciers but they have not yet been discovered. There is another difference between Titan's hydrosphere and Earth's hydrosphere. Titan does not have a permanent body of water. This is due to the duration of Titan's seasons which are very long and last about seven years. On Titan when the hemisphere is in summer the liquid hydrocarbons evaporate completely and are carried by the atmospheric currents to the side of the winter hemisphere. It turns into rain that falls and forms a new body of water. This also explains why two large bodies of water were found in the northern hemisphere and none in the southern hemisphere when Titan was observed. Curiously, besides the hydrocarbon hydrosphere, Titan may have normal water underground instead of above. Titan is beyond the so-called snow line. That is, many bodies like Titan have their underground mantles ice instead of rocks. Saturn's gravity heats up Titan's interior, turning this mantle into an ocean very similar to the underground ocean of Jupiter's moon Europa. But could there be life on Titan? This is still a difficult question to answer. Scientists say that the conditions on Titan resemble those of primitive Earth before it was heated by the Sun. However, they say that Earth was a little warmer. Besides, this satellite is rich in organic molecules, but there is a long way to go for simple organic molecules to turn into prokaryotic cells. But since four and a half billion years have passed since Titan was formed, then it may be possible. And we have reached the end of our video today. Thank you all for watching until the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's present the conclusion of today's video. If there is an ocean on Titan, it is possible that there is life on this satellite. It would be interesting if we could analyze a Saturn satellite in detail and discover on the surface and underground of Titan two different extraterrestrial biospheres. This would be more than a great advance in biology as it would also help us to better understand the evolution of life on our own planet. What do you think of that? Leave your comments below. I always use them with great enthusiasm. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, do not forget to subscribe and like our video. And also share this video with your friends on your social networks. Let's expand the community of space and science fans. So guys, it's time to say goodbye here. A big hug and see you soon here on our channel. Bye bye.